<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Play the Amiga video. Tonight I play the game Detonator. All done by Christian Seiler. I think it's from 1987. And yeah, I've turned down the volume a little so, so that I don't get in trouble because of the stolen music for the title. And I think they also stolen uh, the other music. So yeah. And it's another breakout clone. And they do have a top 100, I think. So they were really optimistic that someone would play this game a hundred times. Or someone would have friends who would play the game a hundred times together. I don't think that was very probable, but we'll see. And now I can turn up the volume a bit again. And first innovation in this game is that it has a scrolling background. It doesn't help the game too much. And it has very loud explosion sounds. Which don't improve the game too much in my opinion. But they are not that often if you uh, don't have a laser. But the laser helps a lot to speed up the game, makes it a lot faster to finish the level. Shit. Yeah, the music sounds a little bit 8-bit-T, which I don't mind. I think the, sh the tune is a little bit short. That's my main problem with it, not the style. Oh. Really? Three times? Yes. I really hate that in breakout games. When you just have four times. Okay, I have to fly to the next zone. That's a little bit of an innovation, especially for 1987. Not that exciting in the long run. Way, yeah, 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 yeah. But at least they tried. Can I actually finish this? Or does it just get more and more random? So I will fail eventually. No, I can't finish it. Cool. Not that I care too much, but... So if somebody wants to know if you can finish it, you can show him my video. It's the 
Ah, yes. And next level. Oh, great. I have to fly again. Yeah, and you can... During the uh, breakout part, you can always press the right mouse button to stop the game. For whatever reason. Yeah, you really have to concentrate in this part. Especially with the uh, old ball mice. <laughs> They are not as precise as uh, modern mice. And I'm pretty sure They also store the sound effects from somewhere. This title music stealing sampling stuff was quite popular in Germany uh, with early 88, 89 games. Yeah, and this is a great power up. You simply don't have to do anything as long as uh, the age power up is active. It's not active for an unlimited time, so you can't relax too long. And I don't like the C power up. So they At least they tried to improve the game over Arkanoid. It's not the worst breakout clone I've ever played. But yeah, again I rather play Arkanoid, which has an excellent Amiga version. Very playable. Yeah, but this game works. So if for some reason you can't get Arkanoid or any other decent Arkanoid clone on the Amiga, you can get this one if you want to play a game like this. And you can also see that it's a uh, European game because it uses a much bigger screen area than American games. All games that were made with an uh, NTSC Amiga in mind. They always look a little bit squashed in on European Amigas. Oh shit. Five lives, oh god. Yeah, what else should I say about this game? It's not bad. Shit. But again, it's just uh, another Arkanoid clone. So, yeah. I think I'm repeating myself. There's really no, mu not, uh, no much reason to get this game today because uh, yeah, you can play better Arkanoid clones or the original on the Amiga but yeah back in when was it 87 I think not a bad game fluent background scrolling That doesn't control as fluent as in the uh, crack game. And yes, I recorded the crack game before this. Not sure if I will publish them in this order. So. No, 
are not deceived. Yeah, the background music also gets annoying with with time, so... But again, it's a very, very er early Amiga game. Which is a shame, because... 87 was already... Two years after the Amiga's initial release, but since since the uh, original Amiga was so expensive, basically nobody could afford it uh, as a gaming machine, and so the uh, Amiga gaming really took off after the uh, Amiga 500 was out for a couple of months or a year or so. Course. Then, at least in Germany, people were buying the Amiga 500 because they uh, knew that it was a very powerful machine and was selling, uh, uh, with more machines being sold, there was an increasing market for games. And I think those were, uh, if not budget, then uh, medium price games so oh, shit it's not horrible and why does it load no it doesn't load because there's a different background yeah and I think that would have improved the game a little if they had more than one scrolling background and more than this one tune. Yeah, the small, small things uh, are wrong in this game. The overall concept is is okay. It's playable. So I wouldn't have been mad if I uh, bought it for forty or fifty German marks back in 87 or 88 if I didn't already have the original Arkanoid because I think if you do have the original those cloned games are quite pointless in general the original is uh, also the most playable not always but quite often ah shit, ah, shit. X. Oh no, an extra life. Great. <coughs> I have to play longer. Ah, yeah. And I really hate those undestroyable blocks in Arkanoid games. Oh, great! Yeah. But I get points for every contact with one of the blocks, so... If you're after a high score, that's not too bad. Oh, it was the ball slow down. Which in general I like because it makes it more controllable. Come on, one block. Yeah, I really hate ball mice. I can't hit a single block, yeah. 
Level design. Yeah, I hit one. And I have to hit them more than once. Great. Level design. Uh, okay, the levels in Arkanoid were also quite unfair from time to time. No, not the age again. One more brick. One more, please. And I bet I have it to hit it more than once. No! Okay, the bonus round again. And I think I'm getting quite a good score for the fact that I never played this game before. At least not uh, for the last 20 years. I'm pretty sure I did uh, have it back in the days. I remember the uh, stolen music from the t uh, title screen. But I can be wrong. Let me get the end. Oh. Yeah, the bonus round gets boring. If you play it over and over again. Yeah, the game could have used a little more variation. But hey, for a 1987 Amiga game, at least it's not a lazy ST port. Ah, oh, shit. again and extra life yeah and I start questioning why I did like breakout games back in the days and yes there's a different background very cheap one but uh, different. Physics. Why? Is this a glitch or? I will never know. Okay, that was Detonator on the Amiga. A playable Arkanoid clone. I prefer the original, but yeah, it's, it's playable. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.